It's Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas day six. And by day six, I mean, um, I've really, really sucked at Vlogmas this year. And I've just been doing like live streams and maybe like one or two random Vlogmases. And so today I woke up and I was like, maybe if I just start right now and just jump on the train with everybody else on the vlog Vlogmas, then I can say that it's day six because for most people that do Vlogmas, it is day six because it's December 6th for you when you're watching this. And so that's what I did. And so that's why I'm, and we're here that welcome to vlogmas do you like our new intro i love our tree i'm obsessed with our tree so is danny the grinch tree is amazing i will show you close-up details soon maybe in this video if i have time first i wanted to explain okay so i'm sorry i didn't do anything yesterday which is today for me but tomorrow for you uh today was a weird day um i woke up at like 9 30 a.m and uh, felt really, really sick. I hung out with Danny a little bit before he had to go to work because he's doing a night shift tonight. We filmed a little clip, but I went back and watched the footage and the birds were so loud that it was even distracting me. Like when I'm in there with them, it doesn't, I don't really think about, like I drown them out, but then sometimes I'll watch the video back and I'll be like, the birds are so loud. This is gonna bother so many people with sensory issues. So I'm not gonna show that clip, but it was just us kind of just like loving on each other and being all lovey-dovey that a lot of people don't like to see anyway. So anyway, so after he went back to work, I went back to bed and slept because um, I still have COVID or whatever this is. It is COVID. I just don't want to admit that it's COVID. So let's, let's just move on. Anyway, I'm still sick with something. So, um, and then I woke up like a couple hours ago. It's like 11 PM right now. <laughs> and I just woke up a couple hours ago and I all of a sudden had this like burst of energy. And I was like, what? Where's this coming from? Maybe I should take advantage of it and actually start vlogging. So it's 11 p.m. <laughs> so technically I started this vlog on the day I was supposed to. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now, since I have a little bit of energy and I'm gonna let you guys watch, I'm gonna organize this room back here. That's a tripod, that's a ring light. That room right there is my office and we have I have not used it since we moved in. It has become just like a storage room, but I need that room because I always get gifts for all of my nieces and nephews and I have dozens of nie nieces and nephews and my family, like obviously our parents and family members and stuff and friends and all that. So I like to just um, lay out all the gifts that I get, especially for the kids because sometimes I don't know which gift is gonna go to which kids. So I like to lay them all out in one big room and kind of like, organize and decide what should go to who and stuff like that. And I used to do that in our big living room that we used to have in the old house, but we don't have like a big space like that because now the living room is also the kitchen. It's like the kitchen slash living room and um, it's kind of like the main place and I don't want to like mess up the main place. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, long story short, I'm going to clean out this room and reorganize it and put some of the storage in the closet in this room and then organize the gifts. So this is my office. As you can see, it's full of gifts that I've bought. <laughs> like that's all Christmas presents for kids and stuff. Yeah, so here's the room. I wanna pack up all the stuff that's not Christmas and put it into the closet here and then organize the rest. So let's do this. So I just cleaned everything out and then laid out all the gifts so that I can go through my list and see which gift would be good for each ki which kid. Um, so there's all of that. And over here is my wrapping station, all my ribbon and these adorable uh, gift tags that my mom gave me for my birthday. Cause she knows how much I love Christmassy tags and ribbons and all the things of the places. But look, I found the rainbow tree and Look what Danny found. Do you know what that is? That is the box of the Shanny Fanny ornaments. Do you guys remember this? Okay, so I'm gonna do this vertically, sorry, but that's the be best way that I can get both me and the tree in the shot and still be up close to you to show you these ornaments. So for those that don't know, um, 
a few years back I got this tree in honor of our community in honor of our community um obviously it's rainbow because that's the colors of our community and lots of communities what up lgbtq love you support you anyway um and I had you guys send if you wanted to send me an ornament to put on the tree and it was so fun because I got so excited every time I got a new one because because every time I did, obviously, it would come with, like, an explanation of it, why they sent it to me, and it also, like, got me to get to know these individuals better, so it was really neat. So, um, if you want to send me some, you can. If not, that's okay. I'll put my PO box below, but I, I thought we lost it. Like, I've been looking for it the past couple of Christmases, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and so I just thought we lost it, and then the other day, Danny's like, uh, are these yours? And I'm like, ah! So I'm very excited about it. So let's let's go through these ornaments. The only problem though is if you don't put your name on it, I'm not gonna remember who it's from. <laughs> I'm sure like I should have done this better where I have these with the letters that came with it, but I didn't. From now on I will. Um so I'm not sure who this is from. So whoever sent me this, please comment below and tell me who it is, what it who you are. It's good, okay. Uh this is from Felicity. Uh, she gave, I think, did she give it to me at the meet and greet? She came all the way to Utah just to meet me. Um, I don't remember if that's where she gave it to me or if she mailed it to me, but either way, this is from Felicity and I love it so much. I think it's so freaking cute. <laughs> this looks like it's from Extreme Kim. What does that say? Anyone? Extreme Kim, maybe? I don't know, but it looks like they made it themselves and they painted it themselves. So please tell me in the comments below if this is from you. I'd love to know. This is from Katie and I know it's from Katie because it is Katie. Look at that. She put her name and her picture and everything. So I absolutely know who this is from. What else do we have in here? <gasps> we have this. Oh crap, I, forget. I forgot who gave this to me, but it did come from their like country. How cool this is. I forget again. Please tell me in the comments if you sent me this. Isn't that so pretty? <gasps> then we have this. Who gave me this? It's from 2019. That's all it says on it. Dang it. But look how cute. It's the rainbow boo. We've got this. Again, I don't know who it's from. Look how beautiful. I feel like that should go at the top. It's up there and I'll show you when we're done. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Dang it, who gave me these? Why do I suck so much? Wait, 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 did you write it? Oh, Emily. Emily Faraday, oh wait. Oh wait, is that a lost joke? Hold on, Emily, Emily Faraday. Wait, what? No, what's your name though? I forget who sends this. They're very specific to what she knew that I love. So first is Lost, my favorite show. So she painted this herself and colored it with like Lost. And then it has like, on the back, it has like the uh, 4, 8, 15, 16, 20, 3, 42 thing from Lost that if you watch it, you know what that means. This one says, you are beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. It has these gorgeous like butterflies inside. I don't know how to show you. Anyway, I love these so much, thank you. <gasps> then we've got this from Dana. You still watch me. Yay. I love you, Dana. Thank you. Look at this. She made a reindeer out of rubber bands. Are you freaking kidding me? Freaking adorable. I love it. And this is from Zoe. Zoe Lewis, thank you for sending this. I love it so much. One of my best friends, Ari, would also love this. So shout, shout out to Ari. I love it so much, the horses. Yeah, I think she wrote me a letter like saying why horses were significant for her, but again, I don't know where the letters are. So if you're watching this, please tell us in the comments what's the significance of this and which one you sent and all the things. The B 2020, what up girl? Love you, Leisha. And it says, just pooping, you know how I be. And there's poo on it. I mean, are you serious? It's amazing. It's incredible. All right, and then we've got this one, and I don't know who it's from, but it has our names on it. Shani and Danny, 2020. Did something fall off of it? I feel like there should be something right there, but I don't see anything. So 
Dang it, sorry if it did. Okay, again, tell me if you're the one that sent this. I love it so much. So, so cute. Okay, and last but not least, um, this was sent to me from one of my best friends, Lauren. I gave her a shout out a few weeks ago um, when I was showing you guys, or a couple months, I don't know time. When I was showing you guys what I got for my birthday, Lauren sent me a whole bunch of stickers that she had made and I had linked her um, her company in the description and she's really, really talented. Anyway, she sent me this, um, it has nothing to do with what she does, but that's who she is and I love her very much and she sent me this crystal and I forget, it's some sort of like either calming or I don't know what it is, but I love to just touch it. It's very smooth and soft and I love it so much. So this is gonna go right. And that's it. That's the shiny fanny tree. Yay. Okay, let's see if we can get that angel to stay up there. How cute is this? I love it. Okay, so I'm all done. This is the office. There's a tree we just did. So cute. So I just kind of like organized some crap over there and just laid out all these gifts that... I'll sort through. So now I'll just go get my list and see which gift would be best for which kid. And I still have a lot more to get, believe it or not. I have a billion nieces and nephews and family members and stuff. So there's that. And over here is my little wrapping setup station with these adorable tags my mama got me for my birthday because she knows I love adorable Christmas tags. All my ribbons. There's some more ribbon in this drawer and then there's like normal bows full in this drawer is just packed full of bowls bows. Um, this is a gift i got from somebody very special i love you there you go there we have it all done i'm exhausted so thank you to all of you who sent me these lovely ornaments and again if you want to send one you can don't feel like you have to it's not a big deal at all um, and you can send them any time of the year. Um, I, I might actually just keep that tree up all the time in here, because why not? It's my office, so maybe I will. And uh, yeah, so I'll put my peel box below if you want to say I'm exhausted. <sighs> COVID sucks, man. But I will say, I don't have it like horribly bad that I'm hearing stories from people. It's not like that bad for me, knock on wood. What was I saying? I don't know.